This is a video explaining how to complete example 5 on the CPCTC day 2 handout. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write out the given. Um, it says O is the midpoint of NP. And that's given. And also, angle N is congruent to angle P. So the next thing I'm going to do is mark the given. So here on the diagram, I'm going to say that N is congruent to P. These two angles are congruent. OK, and then O being the midpoint of NP, um, I can't really mark anything yet, um, but I'm going to use that um, in just a minute. So the next thing I want to do is look at what we're trying to prove. So we're trying to prove that O is the midpoint of SR. So if we look at this segment here, SR, I want to prove that O is, in fact, the midpoint of that segment. So first you want to think about what your goal is going to be. So before you prove um, that O is the midpoint of SR, what has to be true. So how would we know that O is right smack in the middle of SR, that segment? So we would know that if SO is congruent to, what do you guys think? That's right, OR. So segment SO would have to be congruent to segment OR in order for O to be the midpoint. So before we prove what we need to prove, we should prove this goal. Okay, now before I can say that SO is congruent to OR, the goal before that should be to prove that the triangles are congruent. So um, let's think about our first goal of proving the triangles congruent. All right, so um, let's go back to our given. It says O is the midpoint of NP. So NP, we already know that the middle of that is O. So here, First thing I can say is that NO must be congruent to OP okay and I knew that because O was the midpoint of NP so that's the definition of midpoint okay so we already have one pair of angles, um, N is congruent to P, and one pair of sides. We just need one more thing in order to prove the two triangles congruent. Um, and then we can go from there. So think about this and think if we can see anything else in the diagram, um, any other congruent angles and sides. So you might have seen by now that you could say these vertical angles here are congruent. So remember, we have to name these with three letters because I don't know which angle O you're talking about. So this is going to be angle SON is congruent to angle TOR because of the vertical angles congruence theorem. Okay, so that's going to give us another angle. So now I have three things, which is enough to prove that the two triangles are congruent. So I'm going to write my congruent statement. Triangle SON is congruent to triangle while S corresponds to R, O corresponds to O, and then N corresponds to P. So SON is congruent to triangle ROP. Looking at our markings, we see that this would be angle, side, angle, would be our reason. Okay, so, great, now I know this whole thing, this whole triangle, is congruent to that whole triangle. So now I can prove that any of the corresponding parts of these triangles are congruent. So, I can prove what my goal was going to be, which is SO is congruent to OR. 
So think about what reason would allow me to say that because the two whole triangles are congruent, then their pieces are congruent. You're right, that would be C, P, C, P, C. Now that I know that SO is congruent to OR, and I know that O must be the midpoint, of S R. Okay, how did you know that O was the midpoint of S R? Well, it was because S O was congruent to O R. That's the very definition of midpoint. And we're done.